What is up, Kratics? Welcome back to the series where I build popular movie slash TV show vehicles using cars in GTA Online. Remember to let me know down below in the comments what movie slash TV show car you want to see me customize next, and I'll display the most liked vehicle suggestion comment in the next build video. Now again guys, as I usually state in these, as much as the community loves the Fast and Furious cars, let's try to focus on some of the other popular movie cars if possible so it's not too repetitive. Eventually we will do the Fast and Furious cars, but I do want to focus on most of the other popular movie slash TV show cars first. So in today's video, we're going to be building the Mini from the TV show Mr. Bean. Absolutely super creative suggestion guys, I love this one. The vehicle we're going to be using for this build is the SC Classic, which is perfect because it's mainly based on the Classic Mini. Now this car can be found on the Severn San Andreas website for a normal price of $360,000 or a trade price of $270,000 which honestly I think is a pretty decent deal for a car that actually has good customization and is well detailed both inside and out. But anyways, let's go ahead and start the build for Mr. Bean's Mini. All right, Mr. Bean's Mini, this one's gonna be fun. <laughs> All right, here we got armor. So as usual, I will put the max performance stats um, for these cars and armor and all that. So first option here is bodywork. So the Mini had all the chrome trim, so you definitely wanna keep the stock. Uh, brakes, we'll max that out, why not? Uh, front bumpers, you actually wanna keep the stock. Rear bumper, same thing, you wanna keep it stock. Didn't have any mud flaps or any of that stuff. Um, chassis for this one you also want to keep it stocked Didn't have rally lights none of that stuff um, engine will max that out exhaust this one is actually also stock so it didn't have any of these other crazy options here so stock um, fenders now this one is a bit annoying so you see it uh, says the uh, primary street arches um, however uh, the stock fenders you can see they're forced in black same thing with the uh, side skirts there um, but you can't paint the fenders so you, you, you can paint um, larger ones on there but for the stocks you, you can't paint them unfortunately and the real car has a tiny little fenders very similar to the stock ones here in the GTA car but um, the only way you can get them painted is if you choose the large ones which definitely I think just kills the look of the car uh, you're better off just just keeping it stock so we're gonna do that okay now moving on to the grow options now the real car, it had uh, black um, horizontal grill lines, uh, so we don't have that. We have vertical, but we don't have horizontal for some reason, so this would have been perfect if it was horizontal, <laughs> but we don't have that. Um, so the closest we're going to be able to get in game is going to be the painted stock grill, so we're going to do that. And of course it was black. Um, hood. So for this one, the car did have like a satin black um, hood, uh, so we're going to do that here. We're going to do secondary hood. Um, horn, we'll skip that. Lights. Now the, the stock lights on this car are kind of like white. Um, so you, I think, well the real one had yellow lights. So I think your best bet is to maybe um, take this to the arena or to the LS car meet to throw yellow lights on there. But we're, we're going to keep it stock for now. Uh, livery, you're going to keep this stock. Plates. Now the real car, the custom plate was SLW287R, and what I think is super super cool is that Rockstar actually kept the uh, British style number plate up front. I, I absolutely love that. That is so so cool. So if you put the proper letters on here, it's gonna look, I mean, almost identical from the front end, which is just so cool. You can think it. Respray. So for the actual car, it was like this yellowish sort of green color. Um, a lot more on the yellow side, obviously. So for that, um, at least in my opinion, it didn't have any pearl. So the, the closest, at least to me, is going to be a classic uh, dew yellow. This is very, very similar. Now, it could use a hint more of green, just a tiny bit. But, I mean, without going into any crazy crew color combinations and stuff, I mean, this is close enough for me. <laughs> it is very, very, very close. Um, now, I did go through the extra effort doing some research looking in the forums and stuff and I did find this color here but it's just way too green um, the creator of this of this color claims that it's almost identical to the real car but I just don't see it personally 
Um, maybe it's a lighting in here, but I don't I don't think so. This is just way too green. Um, if somebody wants to create a custom one, literally just get the standard um, do yellow hex for GTA and then just make it slightly more green and you have the perfect color. But honestly, this is good enough for me. So the classic do yellow there. Um, secondary color, you're going to go into mats and you're going to put a matte black to match the matte black slash satin black hood that he had on the car in the uh, TV show, who just looks very, very similar. Um, as a matter of fact, you know what? Um, it did look a little more, it wasn't like fully black like this. I think matte gray will be a bit closer. So we're gonna do the matte gray there. A trim color for this um, is going to be, so the real car, the, the dash was, let me go here. There we go. So the dash was black and so were the door panels, but the headliner was like white and the seats were gray, so I had a lot of different colors going on here. Um, personally, I, I think you're, you're better off trying to sort of match the seats as best you can, and the closest uh, is gonna be either the black steel um, or the dark steel. Uh, to put us somewhere in between, so at most of this matches, I'm gonna go ahead and throw the black steel on here. Don't she look pretty? Okay, roof, you're gonna leave the stock. Um, continuing to skirts. Now this is what I was talking about earlier. This really, really annoys me. You can do a primary stock lip skirt, but you can't do primary stock fenders. Why Rockstar? Why? <laughs> Why? In what world would you want to put this option? I mean, I guess with the larger fenders it makes sense, but I mean, why tease us like that? They should have, <laughs> they should have allowed us to paint the stock fenders in primary color, but it just is what it is. You have all these other options here. Um, personally, I, I, I think, you know, the overall general look, if you do this, it's going to look terrible because you kind of have that cut there. So to kind of keep the flow of it, I think you're better off just keeping it stock. Really is a shame. Continuing to spoiler, um, this one, I mean, you want to leave it stock. There was a scene where he had, like, the, the recliner on top of the car, the little, little couch, which I think was hilarious. Um, so maybe you can do like a nice reference to that, maybe with small luggage on top or something. Um, but in general, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it stock for this one. Uh, suspension. Now the car, I mean, I don't think it sat this high. I mean, I eh, sort of. Honestly, between the first option here or the stock, you can go with either or. Um, I, th I think we'll keep it stock. Transmission. We're gonna skip the turbo so you don't have the turbo noise. Wheels. Now this one's a bit controversial. A lot of people have different opinions on the wheels. Some say that the stock wheels are close. Um, others say that you need a Benny's wheel for it. Uh, I've looked through all the wheels and personally, my opinion, um, I think the closest are actually going to be the Super Fins. These are very, very close. They have the large center with the um, spokes on the edges. Now obviously it does have too many spokes compared to the real one. So a lot of people throw the classic rods on here. Honestly, the classic rods from far away, the classic rods do look closer, especially when they're in motion. Uh, but standing still, to me, the super fins look a, a bit closer. I don't know, it's all personal preference because this one does have a sort of like hubcap look um, with the center caps there. It's, it's a bit of a toss-up, honestly. I mean, if this wheel had spokes on the edges, this would be like a home run if they had an option that uh, with this wheel for that. So either one of these two, to me, you're, you're, you can go with either one. Um, that's a tough decision. I think, I think I'm going to go with this one, honestly, the classic rods. I think that's a little closer um, in, in general in terms of like the shape and all that. So we'll do those. Uh, do 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 windows. You're gonna leave that stock, and that's all the options there. All right, let's take it for a drive. This, these cars are so adorable. I love it. <laughs> oh, I still have my my haircut from the Mr. Bean when, when I filmed the little uh, movie scene. I still have the outfit, so you know what? We'll put it on for the video. I usually don't do this because I don't want to get into making um, separate um, outfit guides. But there you go, Mr. Bean. All right. Now we can drive it in style. Oh yeah, the interior of this thing. Rockstar did a phenomenal job with the SE Classic. They really, really did. The interior, the exterior, I mean, they did a phenomenal job. Except for the stock fender paint customization Why? Anyways, that's floored here. Front wheel drive. 
Now, unfortunately, this this car's driving experience is ruined by the annoying handling flags. So this car does have these slow handling flags where it skip it bounces off the rev limiter and goes really slow. It's very very annoying when you go over bumps and stuff. Um, but you know, you buy this car mainly from the look. What is up with the traffic? They are flying through the intersections. Jesus. But yeah, it the slow the slow handling flag thing it, it's it's a bit annoying. You can hear it. The engines like skipping all over the place. I think the SD Classic is one of the worst ones. I mean, you take a corner and you gun it, and the car like it sounds like it doesn't know what it wants to do. It's like this. <laughs> God, it's so bad. And if you floor it from a stop, that's when you really notice. I'll floor it here. Listen to that. It's all over the place. Absolute mess. And this thing is front wheel drive, so it, it is pretty difficult to drive in the snow. Tons and tons and tons of understeer. You take a corner here, and you're gonna go straight to the outside of the corner, unless you drift it like that. But <laughs> yeah, I mean, the combination of this car being already pretty slow, then you add the slow handling flags to that. They just made this thing just oh my god, we're Tokyo drift mini. <laughs> <laughs> it's so difficult to drive in the snow. But yeah, it, it's fun. Absolutely love this thing. All right, let's let's take ten years to get to over here so I can open all the doors and stuff. There we go. <laughs> this car is awesome. I love it. All right, vehicle doors. Let's go here. All. Pretty sure everything opens on this car. There's the engine model there. Oh, makes the valve cover primary color. Interesting. That's adorable. A little four cylinder there. I love it. This opens up too. That is so adorable. I love the the, the detail. I mean, if, if other than the slow handling flags, this car is like a home run. Like the details are incredible. It's even got the gas cap there. I mean, it, it's so so well done. Rockstar really really did a good job on this thing. Um, is it worth its price tag? How much was it again? I don't even remember. Let's see here. It was uh, so 360000 for its regular price and 270000 for its trade price. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, considering how expensive everything is in GTA, right? A, a car this detailed that was well made, minus the handling flags, <laughs> with good customization, minus the stock arches not being able to be painted. <laughs> Other than those two things, uh, my biggest gripes there, the rest of the car was done very, very well. So honestly, I I'm going to say it's worth it. The slow handling flags do put a dent in it, but let's be honest, when are you ever driving this for anything performance related? Never. So it's not that bad, I suppose. But uh, anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. Definitely let me know uh, what movie slash TV show build you want to see me customize next? This one was really creative. The Mr. Bean one. This one was awesome. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.